Okay, the next problem that I want to solve is one that you commonly see when using array modifiers. So on my column here, I have an array modifier set, and it's set to work around an object offset, and it's using a total of eight types. Now I currently have it dis disabled in the view, so that then I'll disable or I'll enable this in just a moment to show you what's happening. But using the object offset, I then have my object my mesh. Uh, spaced out from the origin such that the object that I'm arraying around and my object origin are in the exact same point. What this then allows me to do is merely rotate this empty around the z-axis, and in this case I've rotated 45 degrees, such that then it will put eight arrayed objects in a perfect circle. But you can see that I merely have a problem when I enable this because every additional column is significantly larger and this is not quite the result that I'm going for. Uh, you know, it, it gives a kind of cool effect but not what I want to happen. And this is quite common. You can go in and you can look at the mesh and you can see it's just fine. I look at my empty, it's not skewed in any way, it's perfectly scaled so it's not being distorted along any specific axis that then could be applying to those transformations and we're a bit stumped. Well, what's actually happening is if we look at our model and hit N to bring up the properties panel, you can see, now you can ignore the yellow in here, that just means that I've got a keyframe in there accidentally, but the important thing here is if you notice that the scale of the object is off, and you can see that it, the scale is at 0.4 along each axis. And so what's happening actually is that as this empty rotates it around, with every single additional array, it is taking this scale as the starting point and then increasing it basically because each time uh, it's basing it off the scale and it wants to assume that the scales are one to one to one. And while my math may not be exactly right, I believe that th this is actually scaling this as much needed to get this up to one, one to one to one across all axes for every additional array. And it applies that scale to each one sequentially such that each one gets larger and larger and larger. So all we need to do is select our original object, hit control A and apply the scale. And that will reset the scale one to one to one along all axes. It doesn't affect the dimensions at all. You know, I've still got my same original height, but it's not considered to be distorted anymore and thus gives us a perfect circle of arrayed objects, or in this case, our columns, and works very nicely for then controlling this array modifier with our, uh, the array modifier with our empty to then get a very nice array here. So this works quite well for creating, you know, a circle of objects.